Right, so all of this stuff is all to do with red, obviously. It's a red like review and stuff like that, and obviously a little test. Now, I'm talking in the 5D Mark III by Canon, and then over there is the red camera. That's why the body and uh, the screen and everything's not here, because it's getting filmed and filming me, and we're going to transfer to 8K, but I doubt we could do 8K, because YouTube don't do 8K. We, uh, YouTube does 4K, but then we might not be able to compress it into this video, so it might have to do a part one, and then straight into a part two. But at least you can see what the quality is like. So I'm using 56 or 57 Kelvin lights as well. And um, it's just in my little studio. And um, yeah, that's the camera there. So high of red. And uh, this is what I look like in 8K compressed to 4K. And uh, yeah, what I could tell you though, real quickly, is the screen is touch screen. It's got so, 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 so many options on there. So many options to use the handles and make it bigger and uh, use it on the shoulder, use it for drone. Um, it's got loads of compression rates. It's got a super sensor 35. Um, it, it's got, I'm using a 40 mil lens, so that lens, that glass that's on there is uh, by Canon. So you can see that it's kind of like a stress test and it's working perfectly fine, as you will see in uh, the clip anyway. Um, but other than that, everything that I've got, it is really robust and it's really, really well made. Um, for cinematography, obviously it's what it's made for. It's really powerful camera. It's really good in low light. I did take it into my office to see how dark it would be in the environment. It was about five o'clock. And obviously it's winter time and stuff and it's a lot more darker conditions. So we're just checking it out to see what it was like. Um, I think the aperture, or no the ISO was on 800. I'm not sure what the aperture and, and um, shutter speed was. But I tell you what, it looks so clear. And it's, it's awesome that you could just use a camera like this. Obviously it's very expensive. You can use a camera like this in dope, dark light situations and it's just fine. But anyway, I hope, like, obviously what you're looking at is great, but we didn't get the camera for very long and everything like that. It's got to get sent back to Red, because obviously Red has got to go on and do whatever they need to do. And, uh, yeah, they got another one where I'll literally leave a link in the description. I think that's like 79 grand, but um, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can read about that. But, yeah, there is other things what I'm going to show you quickly and swap over to the 5D Mark III on the actual touchscreen with, like, the settings and then I'm going to wrap the video up. So hopefully that is enough. So in the moment, I've got the smaller handle so I can pick up the um, camera with no problem. Nice and solid. It's got Allen key screws that screw straight into the body. It's got a massive battery, so you would need to take this uh, pack off and then obviously put this back on or an extender so you can have more room so you can use the record and um, play um, handle which is a little bit longer, but it's nice and grippy, especially great for the colder weathers and stuff like that, and obviously it's more safer to hold. This one's a little bit more, you're gonna need gloves if it's gonna be freezing cold if you're using it outside and stuff like that. On the side, you've got um, the SSD on the side there, and then you've got all the extra connections outside there, but I haven't got an XLR connectors, so I haven't recorded any audio. The audio you're hearing is coming from the 5D Mark III from the Sennheiser microphone, which is the 440. But on here you can plug in the XLR, but I don't have enough time to do all of this sort of stuff. So I'm just showing you really quickly where everything goes. But yeah, this back, um, this box obviously costs quite a bit of money. But yeah. Um, so once you've got the extender, then you can obviously connect this up. As I said before, extra battery connector. I did say that I didn't have a plate to put it on a tripod. Um, this, this plate was already on there, but there was no other plate to mount it to my tripod that I had because I didn't have the screws and these screws were too short. So, Red actually forgot that for me and this is the plate that I would have uh, connected it to to my tripod and uh, it would have been fine. You can go into many quarter, uh, one quarter inch uh, threads and you'll be all right. But anyway, let's talk about the settings. So obviously it's a touch screen. It's all, well, I recorded in is 25 frames per second and it was uh, 4K and I think it was 8.1 uh, aspect ratio. And um, what else was there? Yeah, there's just so many things on it, it's ri ridiculous. You can obviously play back, forward and pause. So if I go to play, playing myself, obviously without any sound, this has been handheld and they're using um, a 40 mil lens, which is uh, stabilization already built into the glass itself. 
and then you just click onto the screen, pause it, you can forward and skip back, and then you've got a menu here to see what like other clips that you've got. It tells you that literally there is no way that any camera that I've used has this much information. It has got so much information. It's telling me the Kelvin that I'm using it at 46,000 uh, uh, 46, uh, K. Um, format 8K, uh, format frame rate 25 frames uh, frame rates per second, time base 25 frame rates per second, red code 8.1. It tells me when I started, when I stopped, and duration, how long it is, how long probably the SSD is, and everything like that. How much tint I've got. The ISO I'm using is at 640. It is absolutely nuts. That's just in one menu. So if I go into other menus at the top here, because obviously it's touch screen, you've got the settings here, HDRX, audio, setup, maintenance. There is so much stuff on there, but I haven't got enough time to go through everything on here. But a camera, if you need everything, then don't look any further than RED cameras. Obviously they do all the, the newest films that I'm gonna leave so you can have a look and see what films they've done with little clips, but yeah, it's absolutely crazy. Anyway, I hope that this is enough information. I will be getting RED again, so I'll be able to do some, some proper filming like I normally do, and um, I don't need to go through all of this again. So I hope that's enough for you, and if not, well, I'm sorry, but I have to give it back now. This is 50,000 pound, over 50,000 pound. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you next one.